Going from a 5 out of 10 to like a strong 8. <laughs> 75% of them are tops. <laughs> Welcome to another week of John Vlogs. I have got an interesting story to tell you. I wanted to say good morning, but it's not good morning. It's the late afternoon. After three clients, a visit from Daniel, and the dog's going crazy. I'm about to take the dogs out to the park, but today has been interesting to say the least. My mummy's coming tomorrow, so I've got stuff to do. I can't be hanging around talking to you. I'm off. Do you know, I hope this sun holds out. When my mum's down. And you know, I want to try and get some bits done today so that when she's here, I'm not working so much. All right, let's take you off the bits. So much for the weather, it's fucking shit. You know, I thought you'd get better than this. Two days not going to the gym, but now I'm off. So hopefully yeah. the, um, I can get back into my little routine now. And the house really needs to be sorted out. It really needs to be sorted out before my mum comes. It's a bright mess. I feel like I've done something. You know, two days I'm going to the gym, and you know, worst thing is I saw Danny this morning. I really wanted to look hot. I, I mean, I always do look hot. That's obvious. It's in the jeans, but extra hot, you know. But you miss my absolutely delicious, delicious, delicious meal, which I made. It was fucking horrible. I defrosted some chicken and beef at the same time in the microwave because I thought, you know, it was really frozen. And I forgot to take food out to defrost. So it was partly cooked when I got back. I sliced it up, threw it in the frying pan, and I ate rubbery chicken and rubbery beef, just like that, you know, because I just needed some protein. But what I did make, was, was, which was absolutely delicious, so I have aubergines, and look, I'm taking a bite out of one, but I used all the juices, put some water in the pan, you know, swirled it round to get all the juices from the meat, and then kind of water fried. Oh, this, they're delicious! They're absolutely delicious, and I've got to because oh, I've got four massive cocks inside the fridge, and I have got to use these up. I don't put this inside me quickly. I'm gonna regret it. I need it inside me. This is a stink. Why are you drinking this? Like this bath water is absolutely filthy. Can't, why are you, can't stop her. You know what I'm supposed to do? I'm too good to go. Calvin, do you know what it is? It's a massive bowl of porridge. And there is some method behind this huge bowl. And that is because I do the porridge in the microwave in the morning. And if you overcook the milk, obviously it boils. But if I put it in a massive container like that, it doesn't boil over. It just actually cooks very nicely. Oh, my mum's coming. So I was gonna go to the park with the dogs and go to the gym this morning, but I've actually got um, some products being delivered here. So I thought, you know, let me wait because I'm sure that Mummy Dearest will want, well, hopefully she will want, because I really want to kind of spruce her up a little bit. I want these products so that I can, um, if my mum is up for it, then I can do a little bit of work on her as well and make her look as beautiful as she possibly can look. I've got big mama on the way. She's 
stayed for a few days. I can't, I can't remember when she's staying. Tuesday, something like that. Um, this journey, though, you know, King's Cross. Oh, look at this fucking traffic. Don't worry, it's about five minutes. Oh, that's okay then. Because yeah. it, it, it's always a bit crappy with traffic. Yeah, it's okay, it's fine. And then he went to, got out of the wrong entrance, so I should walk around. Oh, what's it It's confusing when everybody's moving and you don't know where you are. That's right. Oh. I've all been before, but you don't come every day, do you? No. It's all nice. Do I? Thank you. Yes, I did go to the fish mongers and I thought I want something nice, you know, I thought these are massive prawns. I don't know, but cooked with a little bit of olive oil, butter, um, salt and pepper and parsley, fresh parsley. I've got fresh fat, fat, fat leaf parsley. It should be really nice. Thank you, darling, that looks absolutely delicious. Welcome, enjoy. It was boring, I didn't show you, but we went down to the clinic and my mum helped me clean out all the cupboards, put all the stock back, like, you know, put it so it was, well, basically throw a shit ton of stuff away. It looks a lot better down there. And we also had a B12 injection, so that should give us a little bit more energy, vitality, you name it. I'm starving again. Do you know what I'm eating? Liver. Liver and onions and garlic and parsley. I know why it is, it's because even though I haven't been to the gym today, I sh my, my, ne my next I'm going to do chest, but I did back yesterday, my back is aching so much. But it's not a bad ache, it's that good ache because my, his, my muscles are damaged. And then, you know, in turn healing. Okay, let's dump all this in here. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. I think the trick to cooking liver. Okay, the seasoning. I like to cook it with onions, seasoning. Um, but the trick is not to overcook it because otherwise it can go rubbery. And now I can, I'm just pressing down on it to make sure that it breaks open. And it is, it's going to do nicely. And that is pretty much it. This is lamb's liver, by the way. Straight to the pan. So not only have I been banished to the front room, the dogs have followed me and there's an old woman in the kitchen who's taken up my bed. She can't hear anything, I'm saying she's deaf. Can you hear Kathleen? I said there's an old woman who's taken up my bed tonight. And the dog, the other dog, Millie, is sleeping. Dog <laughs> <laughs> it says the dog's gonna be here in two minutes. Because Millie's gone. Oh, oh, she's green now. Oh, hello, Millie. Good night. Good night. So Rosie at the hat shop, we're going to be there for nine o'clock, office nine, which is nearly there. It was nearly there. And um, we're going to do some, hopefully, tweaking of these flowers, what she's got up at the shop, because she went hats for Ascot. I'm not going to tell her, I'm just going to go and try And um, at the moment, these roses that are over are a little bit scabby. So we're going to see what we can do. All been cleared off. And then we've just got to put all the kind of veins, the new ones. Mm. How many are on there? That's what I can say. Okay. 
one thing which you might not know about Mummy, she's actually a florist. So when it comes to doing things like this, yeah, she knows what she's doing. I was actually getting a bit annoyed because I um so I ordered this plant burger and the mixed greens which they put on because they wanted to give me a plant burger on a burger bun with bread and chips. It's like I paid 17 pounds for that, that's fine, you know, that's that's that's, that's how they make the money. But I can't eat it. So I got this better plant burger, which was actually okay, and some greens. I ate it in like two seconds. There's no protein in that, enough for me to go to the gym. So, it's like 17 pounds on, I could have had two apples. You'd have done me better. Um, mind you, at least my mum's enjoying it, but I'm like, I just want to get out of here. I just find it so annoying that I spend them. It's my fault. So I keep doing this X, 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 X. It's, it's disgusting. And I don't know why I'm just, I mean, I do look through, but it's like, oh, I don't like your teeth, I don't like your lips, I don't like this, I don't like the other. And you know, it's not fair really, because there's nothing wrong with these people. I'm sure they're great to listen to the voice, not like the voice. And I think it's more because I'm just thinking, like I'm comparing everybody to Daniel. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for a relationship. It's making me really shit to go and hinge and then just, you know. And I don't get a lot of people who like me as well. You know, it's like I'm not everybody's taste. I don't know why, because I am gorgeous. But, but you know, I'm not. You know, and um, I'm getting older, so I'm getting uglier, hopefully not fatter. I'm gonna stop looking. I just stopped to speak, to speak to you, you know? But I'm just gonna put on an audio book and sleep now because it's making me depressed. It's really, I, you know what? I've been around Hinge four times now. No joke, in the criteria what I put, it said, we, you've seen everybody, we'll let you know if, no, do you wanna see the other people again you skipped? And then they say um, something like, um, we'll show you more people when they come on or something like that. So I've seen everybody two or three times. Mm. Right at the end of our street, Aintree Street, if you want to know where I live so you can come and say hello, there's a pub, I try not to give my full address out, there's actually a place called the Captain Cook. And um, we're doing a Sunday lunch, and I've got to be careful again. So Rosie's very kindly buying me some lunch because I need a bit of work for her. And um, because I, I, I just, I'm doing the green thing again, but I'd rather have lots of greens. It's like a Sunday dinner plan with lots of greens. Stuff. I like all the greens. I can eat cabbage and all greens all day, to be honest. And come on, you tell me they're not good for you? Of course they are, aren't they? Yeah, just like green. Very 
Are we ready, Kathleen? Come on. I'm ready. I was a bit tired at like four o'clock this afternoon. And I was like, why don't you go for an hour now? And I said, all right, then I'll put a film on for you and then I'll go and lay down. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock at all. I could not, you know when you sleep? And you, she, she said to me, John, oh my God. And I was dreaming that I was getting up. You did, I must have been so tired. I think it's sleeping here because uh, facing me, the curtains weren't closed because of these blinds and then these curtains. But now I've closed the curtains. Oh, are you okay, baby? You're not crazy to cover your story. You should have ruined this one. Hmm. But I probably will sleep again. Hopefully I'm gonna be up early. We're doing a few adjustments. We've got some lights to go in these cupboards just there. We've got a little remote on. We put the batteries in your seat. And then um and then I'm gonna try and fix this floor up. You wanna you wanna see how bad it actually is? That's what I mean about bad. It is so bad. <laughs> All because one of the hairdressers upstairs decided to, oh, I put a piece of cup. Oh, they're a bit low, Mum. That's it. <sighs> Can we look it from the side? Can we uplight it? I think it might be better uplit. <sighs> Not great, Mum, you know. No. What about from the side, side lit? to hide them. It's not going to hide them. It will do. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Oh, shit. I've got to share this with you. So much has happened. So much has happened today. So we went down to the clinic, as you know. Anyway, so we had to start taking some floor off and the new guys are moving into the clinic. Um, I called them to say, look, this is a situation with the floor. I'm not sure how to proceed. Anyway, I got the final answer for them, which is they don't want to take any responsibility for downstairs. They don't want to contact the landlord um, who's got buildings insurance because of the flood, which I didn't cause, by the way. And um, that means that we had to move forward. Anyway, so then we then started talking about, I started saying, oh, um, so like any kind of security for me down, because obviously, and then there was all sorts said, oh, you stay down there as long as you want, you pay this amount of rent, and then it's all good. And then I was like, can we have some kind of agreement? Because obviously I'm in a bit of a weird situation. And then the other guy was saying, oh, you, if you become a headache, you know, you can go, I'll give you too much, you can go now. And I wanna, I know I need you out because I've got some ideas for downstairs. I'm like, this is fucking terrible, you know? And then the worst thing is, the amount of damage what has been done underneath that floor, just so people can walk in the area, all right? It's uh, it's going to cost us hundreds to replace the area. It's like, it's a piece of shit. You know, all I want to do is just, I know we have problems in business, that's absolutely fine. But I think it's just being messed about all the time. That's what's bugging me, you know. I've got no security at this place. They want to do, um, these guys are Kurdish. I know nothing about the Kurdish culture, but... You know, Ash is from Iran. I know nothing about the Iranian culture, but say what, they're not happy with the gentleman's agreement on paper, just an agreement to say, don't worry, John, you're okay. They want to, you know, say, fuck off whenever they feel like it, or when you, which it doesn't help for me, because like now, if I'm talking about spending another four or 500 pounds in that place, and I have to pay rent on top of that, what the hell? So this is the little section what we've got here which I need to, I actually desperately have to cut it out. So I've got some ideas of how to fix it, but I think at the moment, I'm just gonna have to cut out the whole section. F oh, how am I gonna do this? Oh, I'm gonna have to work it out. I, I, you know, I'm just gonna have to wing it. I don't know what the best option is. I'm not, I've got a client coming down for a consultation tomorrow and it's j it definitely is not gonna get done before then, but you know, I'll try and do what I can. <laughs>
so it looks okay for the client tomorrow. And we're gonna be a little bit of a strip off, but you know, at least because I'm, we're gonna fit a carpet here in the middle um, to fill this wall, but you know, okay. for her for tomorrow, it's not gonna be bad. so much better just you know the clients come tomorrow everything's back actually better a lot better i know it doesn't look 100 perfect they're not even gonna notice you know and then hopefully tomorrow morning we can just get a piece get it rolled up come down stick it down and it actually will look nice did you say that this is um three meters three meters by this three one's three meters, meters. this Wait, one yeah. So we have to get like two strips, like a two, three, two, three meter strips, just to kind of like separate the carpet, which we choose to get, whatever color it's gonna be. And everything is okay. You know, after all the drama, what I've been having over the past few days, everything's calmed down. I'm gonna be working with Ash moving forward. So, just like, these blips, man. You know, it could have gone any way, but it seems to have gone the right way. So I probably will be able to chill. And I've ordered a white light as well because that was bugging me. Life is always full of dramas and today was just one of many, you know, nothings. But, you know, to being single, you know, for the first time in a long time, and having to deal with this stuff alone is really good for me. It's really good because I've learned so much, okay, a lot of the time I was so down and it was like, for me, it's like swimming through mud and then you have a thought or you try to have a constructive thought, which is usually, okay, to move on, be pragmatic, that's the next thing, but then it's not like the thoughts aren't productive or positive or helpful one after another, like bang, 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 they're slow and that's what happens, you know, when you get knocked. It's, um, it's interesting, you know, I'm learning about myself all the time and I'm also learning that I am able to do more and better things than I thought possible before because, you know, when I was with Daniel, everything was, you know, Daniel did protect me, he sent me a message to that, I told him, like, um, everything's okay. And he said, I hope you learn a lot. Um, I've, I've really hurt my back by the way, it's, I mean, I'm not talking a little bit, I'm talking about, I, I think I've really torn my muscle, it's bad. Um, and he said, you always seem to be hurting yourself a lot lately, and I said, it's because you're not here to protect me, oh well. But, you know, I need to learn this stuff, and I feel pathetic at my age, so I've got a lot of catching up to do, very quickly. It's <laughs> alright, Roz. <laughs> Oh, fucking exhausted. <laughs> fucking knackered. How many hours is that? Yeah, it's alright, man. Oh, I don't know. I fucking. What day is it? <laughs> what fucking day? Where am I? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Yeah, horrible. Well, that went well. <laughs> oh my god, Rio's amazing. Is it? It's fucking hell, it's so nice there. I can't believe it. I always thought it was going to make a shit hole. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. It's just like amazing. Did, did you get lots of attention? Mm. Did, did you though? I mean, they were over me like X Man. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like here I'm a 5 out of 10. Then, I'm a, then there I'm a strong 8. <laughs> I went from a 5 out of 10 to like a strong 8. <laughs> 75% of them are tops. <laughs> Hello, guys. So, I see there's like an off cut, which is reasonable. 
that's 200, that's 210 pounds. You know, it's a lot of money. No, the, that's what I'm saying, it's like 400 pounds. That's why I like the idea of that first one. You guys are okay, yeah? yeah. We've just got, you know, the carpet right is quite cheap, so we found a carpet which is suitable. We're just gonna like put it on now for the, like, we're actually, you know, B&Q is not far, so we'll go, yeah, it's actually just around the corner, so we'll get some other bits from B&Q as well. So it was like 120 quid for the carpet, which is not bad, really. Um, shame that somebody blocked the taller, which I mainly spend this money, which is ridiculous. I think we've got everything that we need. And we've got a little bit of time, so let's get this stuff down as quick as we can. taken up and laid because of her and she, she knew what extent we went to to make sure that it was safe for her downstairs we spent hundreds and time and headache and she just cancelled but this is business and this is what we do wow i'm just wow Theatre, we went to have some really nice meals out. We went shopping about lots of beautiful things. We laughed and we joked and we did. Yeah. This is all like. We, we did the art galleries. You know. The London uh, Eye, the aquarium. <laughs> oh, so nice being in London and visiting the ballet, my son Edson. Covent Garden. <laughs> oh, horrible, horrible. What a fantasy. Disgusting. You know, this whole period when Kath was down, it was just horrible. Oh, it was nice that she was down for the support. Um, and I know I keep saying it all the time, but you know, these are first world problems, but they are relevant and I do, it does affect us, these little things. You know, but in my little world, in my little bubble, I'm gonna keep going. Um, and I know that at some point, I'm actually going to Sheffield in May, I've got a wedding to go to Caroline's and then I'm going to stay at my mum's. So hopefully that will be good, I won't have work. Um, but now I've got a month to continue losing weight because I pulled my bike, remember, I was on the floor with my bike. Anyway, you know, things hopefully will start getting a little bit more, you know, routine, goals will be better. Oh my god, I can't have my bed back so I can sleep. <laughs> I offered to sleep on the sofa. I was alright actually last no, night. I was don't, okay. Don't do that to me. But, but you know, after I pulled my back, it was really bad. Yeah. Because I was slapped slept the wrong way. What did I say? I know, oh. but I said, but I'm not gonna, you know, I was fine once I turned around. And these, the, also the dogs when they're. And what would be nice is, I mean, I mean this time my mum did shit the bed. So it means that I can actually use the shit. You are a child. <laughs> so I can actually get straight into bed. <laughs> Which is more than I can say when you're she's, in the bed. She's old. Yeah, I'm really bed, old. Bed shit. As soon as you're going there, just yeah, ask top, top where the... Sorry. Yeah, exactly where it is. Let me just get into this parking space. Platforms 11, 13, that way. Yeah. And then there oh, you go. Just... Hang on a minute, look over there. Platform 4, so basically you go in and you're walking straight Platform up. Platform A. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon, yeah? It's okay. Bye. Thank God that old bat's going to is pissing me right off. Just a blip. You know, things are going to get a little bit easier. I'm going to work hard. I think what I need to do now is because for the business Trusted Touch, I need to get the models in, you know, create more videos, informative videos about 
my knowledge base about you know questions which people have um some case studies demonstrations all that kind of stuff i think that's what i need to concentrate on um but i do have work what i have to do in the meantime um before before that um but I think that's what I need to concentrate on to get some more clients in. Maybe some work on the website as well because a lot of people are booking me because they found the website and I know I can do more work on the website to make it much more comprehensive. So, do you like that word, comprehensive, with my rolling of the R's? Back, putting more flowers up. There's a few more down there. And I, I should have showed you what we did. We opened up this thing just there and the water came splashing out everywhere. It was full of green grime. But yeah, now we're back to the more mundane and artistic task of putting ivy on peonies around. So these, the beautiful flowers of all the plants now, so they're all nice and fresh. Well, fresh, as fresh as fake flowers can go, but they do look a lot better. The other ones are really badly faded. Oh. All right, back home to the computer. I've got a lot of work to do. Oh, I'm gonna meet somebody. Um, I told him that I have the vlogs, told him about the situation with Daniel, you know, I, mean, I, I met up with him. I'm just, uh, oh no, he said he wants to see my vlog. I hope he never fucking finds them because, you know, I say too much, it's like, oh no, I'm not even the <laughs> I'll get there. I said I'm going to pick him up and he can come back. He's a very nice guy. I'm just not feeling it at the moment because of everything what I've got on. But I need to get out and you know meet people, do stuff. I, I know it's a bit forward, but I said you know come back and then we can watch a movie together and you know maybe sleep over. You know, and you can go straight from work because I, I can't take the dogs over to his place. You know they're gonna go crazy. Um, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, I'm just doing. It's really sad. And I feel bad for this guy. But I'm gonna try and make sure that we have a nice evening. And it'd be nice just to have some attention. Yeah, you know, I have somebody there. So I didn't mean that, get some attention. But I did, you know, so it's, and I'm being honest. Yeah, somebody who actually maybe cares a little bit. For, for, I don't fucking know what I'm saying. But look. Thanks so much for watching this vlog. It, it, it's the last clip of the week. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow, which will be next week for you on Thursday, uh, next week for you. I'll tell you how it goes. Um, in, any, in any case, I'll see you next week. On Thursday at 6.30, if you want to join me then, take care.